it's that time of year again, and you know what's on everybody's minds. Who's there? Brains. That's right, brains. And I'm going to show you how we make them in the movie industry. It's easy, affordable, and painfully realistic. But there are four rules you have to follow first. Number one, if you're not an adult, get adult supervision. Number two, don't wear good clothing because this could stain your clothes. Number three, if you spill any of it on the floor, clean it up because it will be slippery. And number four, and most importantly, like I said, this is very realistic looking. So don't go lie out in the yard with some of it on your head and call your mom out to look because once she has a heart attack and then realizes you were kidding, you will be grounded for life and you will deserve it. So are you ready? Let's make brains. This recipe is for approximately one adult-sized brain. The first thing you're going to need is strawberry preserves, not just for color and consistency, but also because the pieces of cooked strawberries look a lot like connective tissue. The next thing you're going to need is the same amount of raspberry preserves. This is not just for consistency, but it's also to deepen the color. And last but not least, you're going to need one or two mashed up bananas. This simulates chunks of brain tissue. Mix equal parts of the strawberry preserves, the raspberry preserves, and the mashed up bananas. You can add more of any ingredient if you want. And there you have it, brains. And that's how we do it in the movie business. That's good brains. You want some uh, brains on toast? Yes, please. Okay, here you go. Come and come and get it. Mm. Don't know where that shirt's been. <laughs> it tastes smart. <laughs> Who doesn't like Sarah Bellum? <laughs> Got any more? I think I'm going to leave it alone.